Goranga. <clears throat> Driving this morning at sunrise uh, in Belgium, and I could see the road stretch out before me maybe two or three miles. And on that road were hundreds and hundreds of little cars, little red lights, little white lights, all driving frantically to their destination point. And I had the same image came to my mind of ants on the little convoys going hither and thither, all in unison getting leaves and scavenging along the forest floor to bring back to the ant hill. And they all work as a group. They all work together to, you know, grow the size of the community, the commune. Similarly, we humans, although we may not realize it, we are also thriving and rushing hither and thither for the growth of the human community. We all work in different offices, we all bring the f money back to our individual houses, but as a group, we all work under one government, with the same currencies, watching the same movies and the same TV shows, being fed the same ideas, that we are evolving, we came from a big explosion, that we were once, once monkeys and in the future we will evolve to a higher species. Now unfortunately, that's all a lie, and there is something more greater than our 9 to 5 rush job. And as I was driving on the road, I looked up and I saw the moon and the morning star. And I could contemplate life, I could contemplate the universe, and I was contemplating everything. Now an ant can't look up that far and see the stars, might see a few leaves, but to the ant, that's just food. But we can see beyond this realm. We can see into another world, into space, universe. We can inquire, we can probe, we can ask questions. But the ant can't. The ant is simply working to get some food to bring back to the queen to feed the queen and the drones to make more baby ants. Now I know we're not ants. But this morning while driving, we very much looked like ants. And without higher knowledge and higher inquiry and higher spiritual awareness, we are no better than the ants. Just frantically running out getting leaves and bringing back to our families. So, the next time you drive your car to work, or even after hearing this, or maybe you're already there, just wonder where you're going, and why you're going there, what the big rush is. Because we're not ants, we're human beings. And in the Shastra, the Vedas, it says that that is a very auspicious place to be. Right now, right here, human being able to contemplate their own consciousness. Food for thought. This is not food for thought. This is food for worms. Hare Krishna. Thank you for listening.